Hey guys, it's Mrs. Saceda. I'm here to show you how to create your comic strip for potential and kinetic energy. The first thing you need to do is pick a scene. Um, right here you'll see there's entertainment, indoor, outdoor. So you can pick any uh, scene that you would like. I'm going to pick a uh, basketball court because that's appropriate for potential kinetic energy. You need to have at least three, uh, three scenes. Then you need to pick out your character, and your character you can pick um, any character you want. Don't spend too much time deciding who your character is going to be. It's not that important. Just pick a character. I'm just going to pick a stick person to be my character. Um, you can change the size of your characters. You can um, change the layers if it's in front of, behind of. Um, you could move them around. So put, take some time and play around with this. Um, once you pick your character, you can add in text, shapes, infographics, worksheets, um, really anything you need. But to do this, you can even search up something. So we're in a basketball court, so I probably want a ball. And so here's my basketball. So I could show that my basketball is on the ground, staying still, that's potential energy. I could show the ball being thrown in the air with its kinetic energy. So you guys can be creative with this. Um, it does not have to be sports related. It could be anything you can think of with potential kinetic energy. So it could be a waterfall. Um, it could be a dam. It could be someone riding a skateboard. Be creative with it. Have your three scenes, your characters and make sure that you're able to explain it because you're going to have to write a summary after you're done. Um, and then to explain what's going on just per, per uh, cartoon scene, you could go ahead and just type in potential energy. The ball is at rest. Um, so get creative with this and have fun. Make it look nice. If you have any questions, make sure you comment or email.